here on Inishmore now at the launch of the All-Ireland Series in both football and hurling. I'm joined by Galway's Damien Comer. I'd say you're a popular man amongst the Islanders here today and yesterday. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's great to be out here, I suppose. They probably wouldn't get the experience of it, of it that often, so it's... Um, it's, lo- it's lovely to be out here. My m- my father would have done a lot of plumbing out here as well, so um, I'm, I'm sure the name would be it would be common enough out here. So no, it's great, great to be out here. It's great crack as well. I was talking to one of the locals there yesterday, and they have to like when they when they call train and even they have to get a boat to train and like sometimes we'd be complaining when we have a bit of traffic to get through. But I'd I'd much rather sit through the traffic than have to hop on a boat every evening and go into training. Like so, um, no, it's a, it's a it's a huge testament to them, but it just shows the tradition they have and. And I'd say I'd say the scenes when they were when they won that kind of final out here was it, the, the island was probably gone wrong. But they get great enjoyment out of it, and it's uh, it's great to see. It's nice that you can honour it with a, with an event like this to come out to it. Now speaking of uh, great commitment, Galway obviously heavily committed, and now you're in the Super Eights. It's a whole different kettle of fish now. That's for sure. Yeah, we're kind of we're all living in the unknown a small bit because we don't really know what to expect from it. But um, no, we're looking looking forward to it. I suppose. Uh, Fans are looking forward to it. Players are looking forward to it. But um, we're kind of treating it as a mini league sort of sort of format. Obviously, there's going to be ups and downs during it. But um, all our all our eyes, first of all, are on on Kerry, and we take a game by the game. Then after that, your record against Kerry, on the whole, hasn't been great. Uh, I'd assuming you're probably hoping to rectify that this weekend. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, last year we were disappointed. We didn't perform the way we probably would have liked. And if we had taken our chances, we could have. We could have. I suppose um, competed with them, but yeah, no. This year, I think we're in, we're probably in a better place this year, and in, in the fact that we've um, we've had a decent league campaign, and obviously getting the Connacht title back was 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 a good one. So hopefully, we can we can carry that form going super eight. You've obviously been seen as one of the leading lights of the league in the championship so far. It's nearly probably going to make you a bit of a marked man when other people coming in uh, trying to defend against you. Uh, does that alter your mindset at all going in? No, I suppose. Um, kind of used to at this stage but um, it's just all I'll see what I can do to try and try and free myself up and try and get on as much ball as I can but uh, even credit to the lads at uh, the last day a few of them against Roscommon now when I was when I was fairly well marked out of it that other lads stood up to the to the mantle and, and really put in the performance so it's it's great to see but I think it's credit to, to Kevin Walsh and his team they've they've um, built a, a serious squad there I think it's Four debutants this year alone, and over since his tenure, since he came in between FPD League and Championship, I think he's given fifty, around fifty debutants to to different lads. So it's it's great. He's obviously building the panel, and and some of them have came in. They've 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 really put the shoulders to the wheel and 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 showed what they can do. Were those debutants though not there because there was a period when there was a lull in Galway football, and according to Kevin Welch, he said this himself, he couldn't find the best players because yeah. they didn't want to. Yeah, there was there was a stage when he he asked he asked lads to to join in probably. When Galway football wasn't going as well as they liked, but I think since since he's came in and brought it, to, he's brought it back to the to, to better days. That 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 lads would now actually, they, they, I don't think they'd turn him down too quickly. But obviously, Dublin are the team to beat. They are the All Ireland champions. They have the history. They have it all. People will say Kerry be the team who should do it if any team is going to do it. But I'd imagine Galway as well might have a few notions that they could be the ones to knock the mantle off Dublin further down the line. Ah, yeah. Look at I suppose. If we get there, we'll give it every shot. But I suppose we can't really look past these super eights because we've got three very tough games. Obviously, Kerry have have dismantled two of their oppositions already in once championship, and it's going to be tough. And obviously, as you said, our record isn't great against them, so we'll have to we'll have to try and rectify that if we can at all. But it's going to take a big performance, and then obviously we're we're heading to Newbridge, and <laughs> Mayo obviously obviously went down up in Newbridge after the. I suppose Kildare have had a resurgence, and then they've they took out from Anna fairly comprehensively as well. And there's a lot of talk about them now. So we knew that we knew the qualities that were in that team, but I suppose it's just getting it out of them. And now they've seemed to found their found their form. So it's it's going to be interesting. Obviously, Monaghan have beaten Dublin already this year, and we 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 got one over them in the league, but they had a man sent off after 20 minutes, so it didn't really reflect the game. So it's going to be it's going to be a definitely a tough tough Super Eight group. One of the other criticisms levelled against Galway over the years is that the backs just couldn't be shored up properly and to be nice and tight. Galway seem to have found a good full back now in Sean Andy O'Calla, despite the fact that he's very, very young. He set up. You've brought in, and a few years ago as well, Galway would have been accused of being far too defensive and not playing pretty football. And we saw a bit of that as well this season, but the attack has evolved as well. Is that because you guys are getting older or is it the involvement of other coaches? Yeah, well, I suppose what Kevin wanted to do when he came in first was to tighten up the defence. 
and that would have been a big part of his coaching and, and he has done that now and I suppose then Sean Andy coming in as well and along with Owen Curran I suppose as well is relatively new but he's um they've they've really inst- they've they've been the backbone of that uh, of that defence and they're holding a tight in fairness and I suppose it's credit to them and, and Rory the in goal that they've only conceded I think it was one goal in, in the league and then I think it was maybe two so far in championship but no look it's tightened up and obviously we want to we want to be as defensive as we can, but if you don't kick the ball over the bar, you're not going to win a game. So we have to work on attack at, at all stages as well. So we're trying to develop develop our, our offensive side as well.